Hey everybody, John sent me this um, Rico 2 RH50R here to play with for a couple weeks. Um, get my opinion on the scope, kind of throw a quick review together, let y'all guys know what I thought. Um, overall, man, this scope is awesome. This thing has been real fun to play with here for the last two weeks. Um, they've done some real neat stuff with this model as far as the changing over from the old MK1. I had an MK1 640 and this scope here is a huge improvement over that. Um, like I say, I've been real impressed with it. Um, first thing I guess I'd noticed when I was getting to use this one, it's got the huge at 2560 by 2560 display. I think it's like over an inch. And I mean, when you put your eye up in the cup on the scope, I mean, it's it's there. I mean, not like some of the scopes where you've got the little box, you've got a stare to look for when you know, once you get up in the eyepiece. Image on the display is real crisp. Target image looks great. I mean, it just, it can't ask for anything better on that. Um, real, real nice. Um, next cool thing with this one, and I guess this is what everybody's been asking about. It's been the zoom. Like a traditional rifle scope, you know, right there at your optic, at your eyepiece, um, you actually turn this dial. And it, when you start turning the dial, it'll actually start taking your zoom up in tenths. So you can go from 3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 wherever all the way up to max magnification and then push it back over here to the left side of the scope back to base mag at three power which is awesome if you're out in this field see something at the edge of the field two three hundred yards away you can pull it up here to six eight power and then run it back down to three power and you don't have to go through the menu of doubling them up the zoom each time and then back to zero and i mean when you turn the dial on it it changes the same with your picture in picture if you have it up It'll take your main screen, your picture and picture up in increments all the way up to wherever you stop and then back down the base mag, which would be three and six. So real, real cool option. I mean, I, I really like that. It's nice just to be able to go up there, pull it up, slide it back. And, you know, you don't have to go in any menus, button clicks. You don't have to feel around. It's right there. It's a nice knob. You can get old of even with gloves. Great. It's a pretty cool option. Um, next thing I guess everybody's asking about is the integrated LRF. The LRF's right here on the back side. Quick press on the scope, you know, you'll get a single mode, very fast, very precise. Um, I didn't have any problems with it, no lag. Um, hold down the button on it, it'll go into scan mode, even the scan mode. I mean, it was, you know, it's, it's very, very quick. I mean, it was, I was sitting beside a buddy of mine with his scope, comparing ranges to make sure everything where it was needed to be. And I mean, it's very nice. I mean, that thing was, it was on point. Um, no problem at all with that. I mean, I was ranged out six, seven hundred yards, not any issues. A couple times, seven, eight, nine hundred. I mean, getting out to a thousand or twelve hundred meters, I think what they call for it. I mean, it's going to come down a lot to train your reflective target image coming back. I mean, so, you know, anything when you get out that far, but inside of normal shooting ranges, I don't see any issue with that thing as far as having a problem getting the range on it. Um, Another option they gave us was with the magnetic charge port on the side. Pretty cool. Keeps if you get to hang a cable. You know, for the guys that want to run external, you got a pick rail right there. You can mount the battery to. I really, honestly, though, I mean, out of one of these batteries here, I was getting about five and a half, six hours, and it comes with two. So, end of the day, I think once you run through two of them, if you've got your first battery you killed on the charger in the truck, I think it's going to give you more than enough juice to get you to daylight. I know two of these will get everything I've got in the tank to hunt for a night. So, I mean, I don't think it should be an issue. One thing it did do was cool in these batteries that changed from the old ones, like the hybrids and the Rico V2s. They've actually got a lever up here now where if you've got gloves on, you can actually get the battery out. Um, the old one had something, it was just basically that indentation right here. You had to pop it out. This one here, you can actually reach up, you pull it down, twist it, Stick it back in, and when you flip it up, it's got a magnet that holds it, retains it on the upright position. Pretty cool option. The only drawback with this battery here is it does not fit in the charging base for like a hybrid or the V2 Rico. This thing here is actually a whole different size battery. Same capacity, just different housing. But at the end of the day, you've got these two with that scope. I don't think you need anything else as far as that would go. Um, Next on the deal, I guess, would be the performance. Um, I had to scope out and drizzling rain and 90, 100% humidity and 
20 degrees and 40% humidity and it performed flawlessly. I mean, it's what I've come to expect with iRay and these guys, they've really put out some pretty awesome products here lately. And that scope there, the image clarity, quality, everything about it, just, it's super, super nice. I'm not going to get into all the specs and details and what the cores and all that stuff. Y'all guys can read the book or Google. I mean, I'm just trying to give you a user, you know, idea of what I feel about it. Um, at the end of the day, though, the overall performance on that scope is awesome. Um, like I say, this thing here, as far as the zoom for what I've used it for, the three power base mag for coyote hunting is great six power picture and picture the guys hog hunting i don't think it's too strong i don't think it should be anything it should really you know over magnification some of you guys may like a wider field of view but that like I say three power i think you could you've got something you can use for both i mean as far as that goes um i know john at Madeo creek's got some of these coming in next week um i hope is what he was saying he's got a shipment at do in so if you're looking for one, I don't think he's got a whole lot coming. If you want to give him a call or give me a call, get your name on a list, get one coming to you. Um, I've got it going with me down to Alabama tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this thing out and see how the coyotes down there like it. Um, hopefully they don't, but if maybe I can get you some more footage on this thing too, and let y'all see how, you know, what, how it compares to some of the other scopes out there on the market. Um, but overall, like I say, and the price range of this scope with the other scopes that are in that price range out there, this thing more than holds its own. I don't think you'll be ashamed at all if you get this one here. No buyer's remorse. I mean, it's definitely a solid unit. That should have it, man. If you've got any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook, text, um, hit John at Medeo Creek up. Like I say, let him know if you got any questions. If he can get with me or I'll get with him, one of the two. But we'll be glad to help you out any way we can. Appreciate it. Have a good night.